So the triangles really can be made out of anything. Here's a lovely triangle that's been made out of uh, two dishcloths with a little bit of ribbon fastened on and it's been hand sewn with a blanket stitched around the edge so again no fancy equipment is needed. Something else that might be really handy if you've got anything lying about like this, little piece of hessian that's been left over from a project, anything like that again can be used and hand sewn. So here I've got the template again and I've got the scissors ready to cut round the edge, um, slightly bigger than the triangle. Just the same as before, using the same triangle template and just cutting the edges and leaving a little bit of an allowance around the outside. I'm actually going to use the top edge of these dishcloths just as the top edge of the triangle so that they don't fray while I'm sewing them together. But two triangles of dishcloth cut slightly bigger than that template. And I've chosen for this one, I've chosen some nice rusty coloured wool that's been left over from a project. And all I'm going to do is fold over each side, tucking the edges in on both of the triangles as I go along. I'm going to secure the wool at the edge, at the top, just tucking those edges in as I go along. This time, even easier than the blanket stitch, just going to do a running stitch, which is just simply in and out with the needle through all the thicknesses of the of the fabric. All you need to do is just keep going in and out like that. So you work all the way around the triangle. So here we have um, a finished dish, dishcloth uh, triangle with the running stitch around the edge. And now what I'm going to do is I've got these lovely silk leaves, different colours, nice autumn colours, and I've got some glue. And what I'm going to do with this is just pop a little bit of glue on the back of those. And that's another completed triangle done. 